They're still fun till about 30. <laughs> then they start to suck, huh? Anybody over 30? Yeah, 30's the last one. Where any of your friends remember when your birthday was, huh? Right at 30. That's when they remember. After that, they forget. They don't get. You don't get cards anymore. You don't. You are you. You don't look over 30. You're over 30. You are. You understand though. If anybody remembers your birthday, what do you get? A book. <laughs> It's usually some sort of backhanded kind of gift, too. Here's a low-fat cookbook. Oh, yes. <laughs> so I'm old and fat. Sweet. <laughs> oh, or something like, oh, things get better as you age. Yay! Woo! Here's the deal. On my last birthday, I swear to God, when you get older, some of you are young, you want to understand, your friends don't remember your birthday anymore. What you get in the mail are cards from fake birthday advertisement cards. Yes. Like Karen's dry cleaning. You get 25% off because it's your birthday. <laughs> On my last birthday, I got a car, swear to God, from a company called Smart Cremation. <laughs> <laughs> Just to remind me, I'm one step closer to death. <laughs> Card advertisement, it said, How do you see the world a better place after you're gone? Uh, I don't know, smart cremation. <laughs> By allowing you to plan my post breathing barbecue, is that how? <laughs> then their next line is like terrace, kind of like guilt, guilt. Uh, do you want to leave your last of life decisions to your family and friends on the worst day of their life? <laughs> guilt, guilt, guilt. <laughs> Apparently, if I don't plan my barbecue, I'm an asshole to my family. Guess what, smart cremation? I'm an asshole to them now. I beat you. One of my favorite parts of this card, it said, 100% money back guarantee. I guess if anybody asks, comes back, I guess you just give them cash. And on the very part at the bottom of this card, it said, uh, if this was sent to a household with illness, it was completely unintentional. <laughs> <laughs> Yet serendipitous, don't you think? <laughs> they said I could plan whatever I want. I have decided they are going to burn me on a stack of bacon cheeseburgers. Because <laughs> I want to leave this world smelling delicious. <laughs> Oh, I used to be a nice person, I did. You look like you're still nice. You, you got a little bitch in you. You're... She's got some inner bitch too right there. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Sexy in bed. Good for you. Oh. I used to be nice. I woke up one morning just pissed off and I get just in to punch someone. And I'm not even pissed off at normal stuff like you should be angry at, like gas prices and the economy and everything. No, I'm pissed off at stupid stuff like speed bumps. <laughs> Large chested women understand. Here's the deal, I have to go at four every single day. This is my life. <laughs> I should not have to wear a sports bra to go to my home. That is what I'm telling you right now. They can paint the entire road, cover with those little vibration bumps. <laughs> They make the long drives very pleasant. <laughs> so you know they piss me off. Automatic toilets. Who's responsible for this and why? And ladies, I looked up. If you want to know, it's a man who developed it. It's a man. Because no lady would forget to flush. I'm telling you that right now. I mean, you have no idea what happens to those ladies in there. We get that butt gasket all nice and down. My ladies, we're about ready to sit down. What happens? It flushes to shut out. You know the answer. Go ahead. We're all friends here. It flushes. It pulls that sucker right away from us. We're like, oh. If we do get the physics right, butt gasket down, ass down. I'll tell you right now, man, we need time in there. We're wearing high heels. We need to text message our friends. We got shit to do in there, don't we, ladies? Yes. Now, here's the deal. Had I wanted to wash my ass with my own pee, gorgeous ladies in the audience, help me out with this. When did the complete annihilation of body hair on the female become the rage? When did this happen and why? Oh, there's a guilty laugh right over there. Because if you don't know about this, there's a change in hair cells on Young Girl American. I'm not talking about the hair up here. I'm talking about the hair down here. 
Bald, bald, definitely bald. Um, <laughs> like the snatch whisper up here, I can tell. <laughs> Man, when you were invited to playground, you were happy. <laughs> that has to be all a toper and a slip and slide and everything. Wow. And the craziest names too for this bullshit too: the Brazilian, the half Brazilian, the jet strip, the landing strip, the Playboy, the Dorito. I don't know. <laughs> I have come up with my own name and design. That's right. Mm -hmm. I like to take out the middle and leave the sides. <laughs>